What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Epic Nine Gaming Channel. Today we are here on my Let's Play World, just like always in the Blacksmith House. And today's plans are gonna be um, for episode 18 are gonna be building a bookstore so we can store all our books. Uh, upgrading the trading hall so we're gonna go to a different place and build a new trading hall a more expansive one where we can fit more villagers and then we're gonna go on an ocean adventure so we can clear out well not really clear out we're just gonna kill the elder guardian elder guardians in a um uh, what's it called the an ocean monument so we can uh turn it into the into a farm later on in a uh, future episode but that's gonna be a bigger uh thing probably gonna have its own episode uh dedicated to the ocean adventure uh you know next part of it building the the guardian farm basically and then we're gonna end uh end with the potion lab or at least starting the potion lab getting at least maybe four of the potion uh modules so we can get uh certain potions uh pretty automatic and pretty um pretty fast but we also need to build other farms to get mm, a lot of the ingredients for potion labs such as nether wart so definitely gonna be building at least one of the um potion lab modules or two uh hopefully i'm gonna try to get two of the uh, modules done yeah guys let's get into that time lapse of building the bookstore <music> We have completed the bookstore, or it could be kind of a bookstore, library, slash, uh, okay, my guy, <laughs> this guy just interrupts me, but yeah, guys, we have completed this, um, this build, it didn't take that long, I think it took me, like, maybe, I think slightly less than an hour to, to complete the build, um, you know, there was, you know, a good portion of the time, uh, collecting, um, what's it called again, um, materials for it um but most of his materials was co were collected by uh i have like a little area down at the ravine uh city down there i have like a small area where i have some masons as well some stone masons and they sell quartz so i just buy tons of quartz from them and uh yeah i just i i was like i'm gonna use quartz for this build uh, i mean i've used quartz for some like this build right here uh, but this one was primarily quartz uh, driven, you know, with the pillars. Um, right here, it's gonna have a. I need to make a. What's it called? A chiseled one. And the inside as well needs a little bit. I did decorate a little bit of the inside as well. Um, as you see here, we got some books. So this book basically tells you which which uh which floor you're on or which which floor means what. So the first floor is uh where like. Is the library floor which has story books so some books in here are gonna be they're gonna have little short stories I did write one uh, where I used a generator to to kind of fill it out and then I kind of you know used it to to fill out in some books uh, and then the second floor is for enchanted books so that's where all the storage of my enchanted books are gonna be and then the third floor has an enchanting table so I got some books right here some more books are gonna be in here uh, story one so I may write some books about just the world and stuff as well so we'll probably get uh, probably read some of those later on whenever I write them so we got some efficiency four we're gonna have some silk touching here and breaking mending feather falling and then some more book and quills if we ever need that we got a thorns three um, we can add on even more later on uh, there's tons of books that we're probably gonna be needed to you know they're gonna need to store so yeah so the third floor is the enchantment room area so yeah this is a little enchantment area they continue on and we're gonna be building the upgraded storage uh yeah the upgraded uh villager hall so with that oh no 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 <laughs> yeah we're gonna head to the to the villager trading hall time lapse so yeah guys stick around for that Oh 
Alright guys, we completed the first of the, uh, the first, uh, module basically for, well actually the first side of the, uh, the new improved villager trading hall, which is gonna be, it's actually very close over here to the, uh, to the tree farm over here. Uh, we're gonna have, uh, another one over here, and then one over here on this side as well, so it's gonna be, um, I think it's, I think, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's gonna have ten villagers on each side, so there's gonna be thirty villagers on this level. Um, I am probably if I'm gonna build more of these, it's gonna probably go down instead of up because if I go up, it's gonna go up to the surface, and I want to build this all underground. Go get a, a zombie real quick. Would you need one? didn't think uh, a lot of them would be there all right so I'm there we teleport back we get a piece of wood and we block it yeah I think if we block it here would be better okay what the piece of meat uh, okay I got that guy so this guy's gonna be named uncle <laughs> you're gonna be our uh, Let's see if I can see his name. Uncle. <laughs> his name is Uncle. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, we got our villager in there. Or my, the zombie. Uh, this is a husk, actually. Play the ocean adventure. So, uh, yeah. Stay in tune for some of that if you guys are interested. Alright guys, after buying that uh, treasure map, the Ocean Monument treasure map from the cart uh, cartographer, I think it's called. Yeah, the cartographer. So yeah, we bought the map from him. We flew the, the direction where the little icon was pointing. So it seems to be pointing over here, over there, as you see. Um, if I go underwater, I think you can see better eventually. Oh, 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 there's a trident guy. Nope, just piece of meat. Head on in there. First, we got to set up our little area over here. Uh, light it up and get our spawn set um, and sleep because it's going to get night. So, yeah, guys, I'll get back with you guys when we're inside the monument. Inside the ocean monument, we're probably going to get hit with the mining fatigue. I uh, should have brought, um, what's it called again? Some doors. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, we got it. We're getting, really, <laughs> we're getting shot up. Okay, we got the conduit in there now, so our breath is fine. We got hit with the mining fatigue. Alright, let's eat some food so we can regen. We do have our totem on us as well. Okay, uh, we can't break through there. We can't go up though. There he is. There's the first guy. All right, where is he at? Okay. Oh, we're shooting at this is he in? Go under. I think in this situation we should have pulled out our armor or our chest plate um but i don't want to pull it out because of the mining fatigue and um just trying to he's swiping at him swipe at you full blast swim down i'm not gonna let him shoot me he isn't gonna be with the thorns though Swim under, swim under. Let's get this little guy. Because um that little guy will do double or do like it'll have like a double fatigue honestly. Due to double damage. They'll hit us with like two of their projectile lasers. Man. Should have brought some strength potions, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I do have my beacon. I can I can make a beacon, but I don't want to make. Oh, there's a dolphin nearby. Okay. 
swim. Oh, yeah, we're going too fast. There we go. First, first guardian dealt with. You gotta, you gotta swim fast and cut their line of sight off. So here he is, the other guardian. Elder guardian. Let's get him. Get you with my powerful attack. Ooh. No. Dang, I forgot how much damage he does. So if I get him my bow. I'm super close range anyways. Yeah, I can't hit him on my bow. Because I'm super close range. There you go, yeah. Hit him with the bow. Since it's like, if it's farther range. Ooh. And two Elder Guardians. So they both drop their heads. And what sponges, of course. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get some wet sponges up in here. We made it around. Whoa, there he is. Alright, let's just shoot him from... Uh, close distance because this bow does some good damage since it's a um, uh, power five there we go yep we got the last guy and we placed blocks <laughs> all right uh, how much time do we got our mighty fatigue we got about a minute We have made it back to our base safely and sound after our nice little ocean monument raid there. So what we got today here in our shulker box that we uh, of our loot basically. So we got a bit of uh, some prismarine stuff when we broke through. Uh, we have our conduit of course that we brought with us. But here is the more rarer things I guess. So we got two of the uh, guardian mm. uh, elder guardian heads. Uh, we got this is from our data pack and more mob heads and then uh, we got our gold blocks and We got our wet sponges. So we did find one wet sponge room or a sponge room, I guess So that's cool. You know um, If we you know if we raid more later on which I'll probably do on stream and stuff like that I'll probably go try to find more of those ocean monuments mm. via the um, Ocean Explorer map. Uh, hopefully it gives me a different one. I'm not sure if it always gives you a different one uh i'm pretty sure it should give you a different one i think there was a glitch in the game when um they would give you the same one but i think they may have fixed it so uh, hopefully on stream we'll uh conquer some more of those and get more sponges because i think that's probably the only rare thing that uh the ocean monuments yeah guys let's get into the potion lab so yeah we're gonna start our potion lab so I'm going to go into a little starting area for it, and then we're going to start a little time lapse for it. So, yeah, guys.
time to move on to our final little project or at least start this project because this project mm. is going to be a, a a project that we're going to keep working on throughout um the coming episodes so right here we're going to build a um a potion module so that the potion module will um be here and it'll mm. automatically make potions as long mm. as all the ingredients are available finish building these two modules and uh yeah we'll close out the episode for today because we did a lot of stuff today actually we went to you know we uh we we we, we finished the bookstore we went to mm. what's it called again we uh we upgraded the villager farm and got all that stuff uh done as well and then finally we went on our ocean adventure Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was super awesome and fun. And now we're just going to end this stuff. We're going to end today's episode with starting the potion farm. Ooh. Thunder. completed some of the uh potion uh modules so we got two of them right here one of them is already uh completely on which is uh this one so if we take out three of these it'll brew another three or uh, if we took every single one out it would brew until it would be full and this um this comparer would lock the chest and lock everything kind of stop the system um and this one is not turned on yet because we don't have all the ingredients mm -hmm. for it uh so i think this one might be the fire resist one but we need to get a nether wart farm because nether wart is very important for making a lot of the positive potions or the potions that give you good effects or effects you want the weakness the, the reason we need so much weakness potions mm -hmm. is because these are going to be super uh super good for curing villagers and we definitely need to cure more villagers i forgot to remove this block yeah we uh not this one i think we have to remove these two blocks because this will go up and it'll attach to it and we don't want that happening same thing happened over here we might put the blocks behind there but it's everything is good though so yeah we completed a little bit of the here and uh we're gonna expand this more over there or either uh, go down, like basically make a, go a little bit down and open up the room and have more of these. But these are going to be like the main two, the ones that are going to use most, uh, mostly. So we may have two more up here and then the rest will be downstairs uh, in a different matter. These are going to be for mass producing. The other ones may be more for, oh, I just need, you know, a few. Uh, but these ones are going to be the mass producing ones, so like fire resistance, all that stuff like that. And uh, we'll probably... Uh, get everything set up in the next episode hopefully in the next episode we we get a little more progress on the potion farm and we're probably mm. going to be starting the ocean monument or the uh prismarine farm so yeah guys it's going to be a long episode next episode so hope you guys tune around and uh you know subscribe you guys want to see more content from me so yeah guys mm. like always thanks for watching and peace